everybody, it's the Book Cougars, two middle-aged women on the hunt for a good read. This is Chris, and I'm narrating this video. It's kind of a slideshow uh, with some videos in it that we took of our two days in New York City recently, February 15th and 16th. Just some shots of our day. And the next one here is Grand Central Terminal, which never gets old to see that beautiful building. It's always gorgeous, and we have Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis to thank for that. She saved it from being torn down for development. Here we are at the New York Public Library. They have a Virginia Woolf exhibit going on right now. This is the back of the library in Bryant Park, Bryant statue there. And this is the 42nd Street entrance uh, looking to the east, and you, there's a coat track right inside this door if you wish to check your coat and bags. Here is a facsimile of a Gutenberg Bible with a wonderful background display. And these are just some shots of uh, leading up towards the Rose Room, the main reading room, which is where we were headed. This is it. It's gorgeous. This is the half of it. Uh, it's twice as long as that. Uh, here's the ceiling shot, which is just beautiful. And I was in the archives doing some research, and this is just an example of some of the things you can find in the archives. In the evening, uh, we took off walking towards Times Square, and coming up is a video that we shot. Uh, you can, just a bit of a panorama, so you can see the bright lights, big city. Here are the people. It definitely wasn't as crowded as years past, um, but there were certainly more people uh, than in recent years. People starting to sit outside again, enjoy street food. That's the new Reese Witherspoon movie. Oh, yeah. They play kind of like a bookish couple. Well, they're not a couple. They're friends. Yeah, I was trying to avoid spoilers there. So, uh, cute movie though. Uh, lots of good bookish writerly action. Here we are in the subway, shortly after watching somebody get arrested. The tile work and mosaics at some of the stops are just wonderful to see. Beautiful. We are heading up to the Upper West Side. Uh, this is an example of the great markets that they have there. We scored dinner. Uh, it was great weather, so we sat outside on a park bench. While Emily was off at a, an ev author event, I hung out at Book Culture Bookstore, which was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. I was there about two hours. I could have spent another two. We spent the night at Aunt Ellen's down on the Lower East Side. Unfortunately, Ellen isn't there. She's off in California. Um, but thank you, Ellen, for letting us stay there. We love her apartment and has a great view. As you can see, this is a panorama of her view from her balcony, which is all the way up on the 19th floor, which I try not to think about. <laughs> uh, but the first time we stayed there together, Emily and I, as book cougars anyway, was in 2017 for Book Expo, which was a really wonderful tradition that we had for several years, doing Book Expo during the day and then sharing bookish conversation with Ellen at night. So that's a tradition that uh, is gone and we need to make some new ones. But as you can see, it's a gorgeous view. And we both slept like rocks and woke up the next day kind of bright-eyed and a little bushy-tailed. So here we go with day two. First stop was meeting author Matthew Goodman for breakfast. It was so great to see him again. He was a past guest on the show. He recommended Russ and Daughters. Great food, so delicious. Um, that's a shot of my first sable that uh, both Matthew and Emily recommended. I hadn't had that fish before. And Matthew is reading this series by an author in French, which completely impressed both of us. On the way out of the restaurant, a lovely server took our photo. And then we're headed back in the subway again up to Midtown to the library for another work day. But first, Emily and I stopped and saw the Virginia Woolf exhibit. And then we did a little browsing in the new library shop. They have a fantastic new layout for their shop. It's larger, still pretty crowded with people. 
This is a water fountain in the hallway. I mean, the detail in this building is just so exquisite. If you haven't been there, I hope you get to go someday soon. End of the workday. It was there before we knew it again. We had a nice browse in Kino Cunha bookstore, which is just behind the library across from Bryant Park. And we grabbed food from Whole Foods, which is a couple doors down. And we had dinner in Bryant Park. It was lovely. It rained, but the rain stopped just in time for us to have a great dinner. Coming up is a video, so I'll stop talking. We're in, a, in front of a fountain in Bryant Park. We have packed a lot into two days in New York City. We're about yeah. to head to the train. And we should point out that all of those little, like the square lights you see back there, that is the library. And in between the fountain and the library is ice skating. Yes, which it's been a, like spring-like these last two days. We've been wondering how they're keeping the ice ice. Right. <laughs> but and people are skating. <laughs> they are. Maybe not much longer, but <laughs> kudos to them. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. And here we are walking to Grand Central, catch the train back to Connecticut. There's a night shot of Grand Central Terminal beautiful building inside and outside. Thank you so much for watching. We love taking you on our Biblio adventures. And as always, we wish you lots of happy reading.